Can we try it from the beginning again? Sure. And of course, he gives us a dotted rhythm. So right away, that's, that's Schubert's model, right? And then triplets within the duple uh, meter. But the, the dotted rhythm provides a little to provide some movement. Sometimes it provides a sense of, you know, so if you Notice a long phrase mark. Good. Nice. So we have the It's a beautiful register change. Before that, yeah. and he gives you the octave sound. So I think you have to think. You don't have to hit us over the head with the, the volume of it, but there's a darkness and a richness now with the octave sound. Okay. So really listen for that. Yeah, but I'm something in there. Yes, and the, I think every composer when they quality to the repeated chorus. So, maybe not to you. Yes, and a little sense of the darkness of that register. Right, so you have the C sharp over the F sharp minor harmony, then the C sharp over the F natural, then the C sharp over the and So let me hear one, two, three, four different kinds of C sharps, right? Changing with the harmonies. They seem a little too active. Okay. Um, good. You know, in the left hand you have the triple, right? And then you have the minor. You could change the dynamics, you can change the articulation. I would stay a little closer to the keys. You know, so if you're. 
than one. So if you had exaggerate them, you put them into the music. But then, eventually what you're trying to do is find a large framework that supports everything right. that you want to do. And so, yes, the structure can fall apart <laughs> if you take time everywhere. But I think that as you live with a piece, you begin to sense where it's okay to let it relax and let it go. Yeah, take the time. And then, I think instinctively you will also realize I need to keep it moving. I've done so much time taking here, then maybe in this section I, I'll keep it going. Certainly, yeah, and in the development section, a lot of that is, is fairly, you know, moving along. So if you take.